Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing. I don't normally do unboxings. Uh, it's not my thing. But uh, I'm super excited about this uh, Radiator Relocate Kit that I bought for my 2017 Polaris 570. Uh, it came from Wild Boar ATV. Uh, it is the Predator Edition. And now I know there's uh, there's been a couple other unboxing videos out there of this particular radiator but they're a few years old and um, they didn't come with the LED light kit or the LED light bar I happen to order mine with both and let's see what they uh, look like and uh, see what kind of kit this is let's open this up here this is the first time ever doing one of these I can't wait super excited about it alrighty so let's see here Supposed to have an 11 inch LED bar, light bar, and an LED light kit. So let's see what we got here. Okay. Alright, this is uh, the LED light bar, off road light bar wiring harness. Um, oh, they sent me the wiring harness and I didn't even order it. How about that, Wild Boar? I didn't even order the wiring harness and they sent it to me anyhow. Ain't that cool? Okay. So it's a wiring harness from night, fuses, plug and play, tie with switch in there, uh, with the relay, very cool, very cool. Alright, that's that. This is Sapara, more than bright, uh, let's see, this is the 10 piece LED light kit, multifunction, let's see, okay, um, now these are multicolored uh, lights, they're LED strip lights, they said. They can be put anywhere on the machine, they change colors. Uh, supposedly they're really, really bright. Whoa, okay. Um, wow. Got your instructions, how to turn them on, turn them off, and change colors. Pretty cool. Now that is some quality stuff right there. Uh, let's, I don't know if I'm taking one out of the bag here. Got a bunch of them together here. Um, they're actually quite sealed. Uh, this is a very, very waterproof looking. Great connectors. Very good quality stuff right there from Wild Boar. And it has comes with a little key fob, so you can use it to change the colors. Pretty cool. Very cool. Um, although I did not order the. I did not order the wiring harness for the light for the light board, but they sent it to me anyhow. Um, good going wild board. Kudos to you. Uh, so that's the light kit itself. LED lights, that's the installation. Um, this is the light bar by night. It's an 11 inch light bar, slim design. Very cool. I'm sure it's pretty bright. We'll see. I have a, I have a light bar on my machine now and it uh, can never hurt to have another one. So uh, maybe I'll put one as a backup light or something. Who knows? We'll see. Very cool. Very cool. Um, mounting brackets for the light bar. All right. Awesome. Put that back in here. Uh, let's see here. What else we got? That's the light bar. Now it's on to the kit. Okay. Now I did hear the instructions weren't the greatest, but they're in color. Um, if you're somewhat mechanically inclined, you can do this. Probably pretty much all self-explanatory. Um, there is another video out there with a guy who did a great job on his. Um, he had a custom-made plate for his, and he showed he shows you how to use, how to install it to where you can still use your box, your glove box for any accessories that you want to have on you when you're on the trails. Uh, so I'm going to be following his directions on what he did, um, but I'm going to do something a little different than. Um, what he did, and I'll show you here on the 570 relocate kit here. Um, I'll show you on the plates, okay? But anyhow, um, those are the directions you get. Like I said, pretty much self-explanatory. Basically, you just got to know how to work on your own machine, and you'll be all right. Um, get that in there. All your hoses, plenty of hoses, overflow hose right there. Here. 
yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Wild Boar Insignia. Looks like it's a laser cut or water jet cut into there. Uh, very good coating on these. Uh, pretty thick. Uh, it almost feels like the type of sandpaper you get like on a skateboard, but not as rough there. So, what I was saying about what that other gentleman did, but what I'm going to do slightly different here. This is the... Uh, Now this is the wild boar front plate. Now, the radiator bolts here, 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 and here. Uh, what was a scratch on it? Wow, okay. Not no big deal, it's gonna get worse than that. And this here, it bolts to this plate here. So what I'm gonna do is the gentleman that I saved this video, great guy, uh, he re-engineered one of these, had an American flag put in it, really cool deal. And he relocated these holes further down so you can jack the plate up with the radiator up. But what I'm going to do is on these here, I'm going to slot these holes up a little bit. So instead of drilling new holes into the base plate, I'm going to put this like here. And with the holes being slotted, I'll be able to slide it up or down, depending on where I need it to be uh, on the install. So I can still use the box um, very easily. And that way I can get to any accessories that I need when I'm on the trail. Um, so with that being said, I got another plate in there. That's that plate guy. Like that. And here's the other side. Both uh, have the insignia cut into them. So this is a, a very good uh, eighth inch deal, but it's uh, it's quality stuff right here, I'm telling you. And it's very reasonably priced out of all of them. And um, Wild Boar right now I think is the only one that I've seen that offered me LED lights. I'm there might be other companies out there that do that, but I haven't seen them. So, uh, that's, that's just it. And uh, more mounting brackets here and here. Now I believe these mounting brackets here, here and here, are for the top somehow, I believe. Uh, we'll figure that out. I think they go up here. And you can hook, hook, run the, the light bar or uh, a bracket for uh, rocker switches. There's more brackets here. They really do a good job packaging this stuff, let me tell you. There's more brackets, same coating. Here, that one there, that's a good bracket there. Let's see, anything else in here? Uh, nope, that's it. So, I'm going to assume that the nut and bolts that there isn't. Okay. Um, one thing they did not see in this kit here is any hardware. Uh, no carriage bolts, no nothing like that. See, there's a packing slip in here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. No. Yeah, there's supposed to be some carriage bolts in here, but there were none. All right, so I'll have to give them a call. I'm sure they'll work with me. No big deal. I don't see anything attached to anything here. No. So one thing they did leave out was the carriage bolts. Not a big deal. We'll figure that out. Nothing in here. No. Okay. So I'll just give them a call real quick and uh, we'll figure it out. So thank you. Uh, stay tuned. I do have another box coming uh, with another kit for the same quad. A little something different, I'm going to do them all together, pull the plastics off, and then I'll show you an install video on this. And uh, the next kit that I come, uh, it's coming in next couple of days, uh, it's coming from Texas, so it should be here within, within four or five days, I would think. Uh, stay tuned, like, subscribe, and thank you very much. And I'll try and leave a link uh, to the products I got in the description box. Take care.